how to use the master deployment plan to create your sign in and out sheets. What I've done is I've gone to master lists and chose master deployment plan. When you do this from your screen, you'll see a few more columns than what I am showing. What I have done is I have gone into the pick columns and removed the extra columns that I did not feel were relevant for the sign in and out sheet, such as AVL, supervisor, etc. So what you'll want to do is go into your version and remove similar columns to what I have left here. So the remaining columns include route, driver, vehicle, vehicle type, shift, and mobilization. You may or may not want vehicle type. Let me show you quickly how to remove this like all of the other columns that you may not want to see. Go into Pick Columns and find the one highlighted for vehicle type, unclick it, and choose Submit. This will remove the vehicle type from my list. What you'll see is I'm going to first remove my filters so that you can see what appears when you first set this up. Notice I have different mobilizations grouped. I've grouped this by mobilization. If you're working in a full operations mode, you may only want to see those that are for full operations. In that case, filter that to say full, and then you will only see those that match that mobilization criteria. Now, as I look at the information, if I'm a clerk, let's say, in District 1, I may only want to see those that are affected for Route 1. So I will type in Route, everything that starts with Route 1. Now I have a list that shows me everything for Route 1, full mobilization. You may also filter by shift or leave it if you're using the sign in and out, same sign in and out sheet for multiple shifts. If you're using it for one shift at a time, then you may want to simply filter for the shift by typing the letter or number, and then you're only seeing those with a specific shift. The next thing I'll do is I'm going to save this, which I've already done before, but I will do it again so that you can see how that works. I'll now save my format here to my, my favorites. So I'm going to click on New, and this is my sign in out sheet for Y. District 1 Full Ops. So for full operations, District 1 Y Shift Sign In Out Sheet. I'll click on Update to save it. And now I have this saved for future use. The next step I'm going to do is click on the export to XLS. What that's going to do is that's going to save this information which I can then create a sign out sheet. When I use my sign out sheet I don't really need to see the column mobilization. However, I needed it to filter so that's why we left it in on the prior screen. But on this spreadsheet, I can remove it. So I'm going to delete this column, and instead I'm going to add my sign, in, sign initials in time out time coupon 
and any other information that you want to collect during sign in and out. Then what I'll do is I'm going to highlight the block in which I want to have a line appear, go over to the borders, click on all borders, and now I have it so that there will be lines when I print. And instead of calling it the master deployment plan, I'm going to call it my sign in out sheet for district one Y shift fall operations. From here, I simply go and choose to print or print preview, and I will then have a sign in, sign out sheet that I can use for this particular event.